Hello, hello everyone. Hope you're doing great. So yeah, this is Sub Zero, and I'm back again with another video. So I just want to talk about the Austrian Grand Prix over the weekend, and you know um, the battle between Max Verstappen and Lando Norris. So um, those two was fighting for the lead. You know, Max is driving the Red Bull, and Lando is driving the McLaren. So um, the race started. You know, Lando slots in second. Obviously, Max took the lead from um, pole position. And then, um, you know, the driving, driving, you know, it's all going well for um, the Red Bull. And then, um, jumping to the, they had the first round of pit stops, yeah. It was, it's all going well. Um, Max is about five to seven seconds ahead. But then the second round of pit stops, yeah. Um, roll with me, people. The second round of pit stops, there was um, a slow pit stop for Red Bull. So, um, normally Red Bull have like a 2.2 second pit stop, 2.3 seconds. By this time, they had a 6.5 second pit stop and they had to wait for Lando to go past before they released Max as well. So, um, that compromised Max's whole race, you know, um, with about 20 to 25 laps left, yeah. And then, um, when he came out, he lost there like a seven second lead to Lando to like one second. So, you know, them racing against each other, going back and forth for a few laps now, and uh, Lando. You know, tried a few moves on Max. You know, Max was didn't want to yield. Um, Lando had a slightly fresher tires and a slightly quicker car. You know, um, the Red Bull's quick at the uh, at the circuit, the Red Bull ring in Austria, but um, sometimes they falter a little bit. I remember two thousand and twenty-two, Charles Leclerc beat Max Verstappen for that race. So yeah, um, on lap sixty-four, they had a collision. You know, um, Lando tried to go around the outside uh, of turn three. Uh, Max, he hit Max uh, on the rear left. Um, they both had a puncture. He had a puncture uh, on his on his uh, front right, and uh, Max had a puncture on his rear left. And you know, um, really and truly, Lando lost out uh, more than Max because he did not finish the race, and Max ended up finishing fifth. And he extended his world championship lead. And I know there's a lot of people outraged, you know, there, there, a lot of um, Lewis Hamilton fans are outraged, you know, saying that um, it happened to Lewis in 2021, but it wasn't really addressed. And, you know, when I saw the incident, I didn't think too much of it. I thought, oh, it could be a racing incident. But, you know, analyzing it um, a little bit more deeper, I feel like um, Max, did he didn't want to yield. Um, that's his driving style. He never wants to yield and... He was in the wrong, you know, he was in the wrong. So he got a 10 second penalty, you know, for causing a collision, you know, for causing a collision, you get a 10 second penalty. So um, really and truly, you know, Max was in the wrong. He didn't want to yield. And um, I'm going to put a little bit of blame on Lando, you know, just a pressure, giving a pressure to a Formula One driver. But for, he had to find a better strategy to beat Max because um, you can't go, you know, um, brick for brick with Max, you know, your car's going to be in, in wrecks, you know, um, we know how aggressive he is, so yeah, um, that's, I'm gonna wrap it up here, and, uh, yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here, you know, um, we know who the blame went to, because the stewards, you know, they deemed Max Verstappen, uh, to be, um, at fault for that race, but all he had to do was, um, let Lando win that race, and finish second, you know, and consolidate your championship position, but really and truly, him taking Lando out, um, and him finishing in fifth, he scored like 10 extra points from Lando, and the day before in the sprint race, he scored a few more points more than Lando, so yeah, um, it was Max's fault, and, uh, yeah, on to the next one, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.